All right, folks, working away. Uh, Sunday, so I'm kind of working by myself today. And I've got three uprights on. Now I've got to run two beams long ways. And then uh, we can start joining the rafters up to it, cutting them, getting them ready. So coming along, it's slow, but it's coming along. Uh, but we ended up going 10 foot wall, so we got about a foot and a half. So about, yeah, the time we get up there, it's about 12 foot to the bottom of this cross beam. And then, uh, you know, the roof over it. Flywheel sticks eight foot up out of the ground. So I want to give enough room that you can see in there and see it and not, you know, have the roof down over top of the engine where, you know, it was covering everything. So anyway, we'll continue on the roof. Uh, not a lot of other stuff going on. Uh, was wanting to do some other work, but this has been pretty time consuming. So, but we'll have her done here shortly or have, you know, everything. The main beam's done, and that's the important part. All right. Okay, folks, here's where I'm at. Uh, I need four more logs. Uh, for now, anyway. So we're sawing them on the mill. All right, folks, I just finished up this 8 by 8 So we've got uh, three more to do. And then we've got a bunch of lumber here that we're going to use to do the roof. And I think that'll work out really good. So... Let me get the forklift, get this loaded up, and then, like I said, three more today, and we'll uh, go ahead and finish up the roof. All right, folks, there we go. All four beams uh, done. Now we got to go to work. Okay, folks, hopefully you can see this. All the beams are up. Uh, done. Come together good. I've got more place to make, more place to put on. Uh, there's a couple logs there's got a little you can see on the center of the roundness of it but uh i told vic we needed to do that to make sure people didn't think we was growing square logs or square trees so it's all up and ready to go uh, we'll probably run two maybe two by eights or four by eights uh, down between these two and then we're just going to sheet the whole roof and uh, then we'll get started. Once we get that done, we'll get started on the uh, slate shingles. We're going to cut these off, you know, however I need to cut them. And then, uh, but beams are done. Everything's solved. Uh, you know, just got little stuff to do yet. And I'll show you what I was talking about on the second story on this. Uh, I had mentioned that I'm gonna we're gonna actually put a second story on it and we've leveled this out now and it was pretty unlevel you can see the squirrels get up there it's two hundred dollar a roll insulation or over two hundred dollars and you see what happens uh, but uh ruin it ruin it there ruin it in the center so anyway way it goes and let me see so we we leveled this thing up and we was really low on this side and we ended up, believe it or not, it was about 12 inches low almost. So we come up about eight inches and down about four on the other side. We got it completely level. And which we knew it wasn't off. You know, we just bolted it together when we done it. But now it's ready to go. And what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna come on this beam. We're gonna come down to where we got good clearance over the cars and everything. And I'm gonna bolt a truck frame right here. From there all the way to the other beam and I split the cross members in the center I'm getting ready to show you that but this there's six cross members that's going to head from this end to the other end we're going to bolt the other side of the truck frame on the other end and what I'm talking about you know, maybe two one inch bolts on each corner nothing small and then uh, we're going to run 18 foot mobile home I beams uh, to tie the cross members back together so it'll be 18 feet to get us down there and then we'll come and we'll run pine boards on the top and you know two inch thick at least and uh probably you know and then we'll weld some stuff in too and get it all right but i'll show you the truck frame that i'm using uh this is 21 feet from that pole outside of that pole to the outside of that pole and i'll show you what we've got okay here's an old parts truck 3116 cat uh the rod came through and poked his head through both sides so there was 
this thing had blown up. I don't know how they got so many RPMs out of it to make it blow up, but it blew up. Uh, I've had this thing for a long time. As you can see, this has got a really long, good, straight frame on it. So what I've done is the frame's cut on the truck, and the cross members are cut in the center. So I've solved all, all of the center of the cross members. And so the plan, we're going to use every one of these. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That's going to be our cross members uh, or our beams. So basically what we're going to do is extend these out. You know, they're 34 inches. Uh, we're going to use mobile home frame and overlap it and bolt it and probably weld it too. We're going to extend these out 18 feet. So this is going to be our second floor. And truck frame is plenty strong enough for that. Uh, we're not going to have any issues. So that's the plan. This is uh, about 25 feet of frame. So we've got plenty to work with here. We're going to line it up to where the cross members work out right. And, you know, them are a little closer together than these others, but it's okay. I mean, these are plenty close enough together if we, as long as we use uh, a really heavy pine. We'll probably, probably end up going... I don't know, two and a half or three inch, maybe. We'll see. And then, uh, and if we need to, we can weld some braces in between. Won't be a big deal. All right. Anyway, so uh, that's where we're at. I have not started on the Cadillac yet. Just uh, been working on this, uh, these beams, and I've got them all bolted together, together now, and I've got the beams moved, so now I can get down and get my boom for the center of the wrecker, so we'll probably jump on it. But uh, anyway, appreciate everybody watching. Till next time. Bye.